Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to this week's video. So, as you can probably tell from my scrunchie and my eye store and my top, we're going to watch Heather's again. I can't wait. Are you excited, Beth? Maybe. Beth's also driving, so she needs to focus on that. <laughs> but we went to watch it, I think it was virtually a month ago. It was, I checked this morning, the 10th of August and today is 16th. September, yeah. 16th September, so it's been like a month and six days. Yeah. Um, which is, I'm, I'm so excited, I absolutely love it. Um, so we went to watch it at Palace, now we're going to the Manchester, is it up Winter Gardens Opera so, House? So yeah, we're at Palace in Manchester, now it's Opera House, and yeah, it's Winter Gardens Opera House in Blackpool. Yeah, so exciting. We're hoping to stage it all this time, because last time it was absolutely, like, horrendously chaotic, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. But at Winter Gardens, they have like a proper, like, is it dorm arch? What would you yeah, call it? Right, yeah. Like a dorm sort of thing that it's easier to get to stay show through. So we're going to try and do that. But I thought I'd channel my inner Heathers with my... I tried to do blue, but I don't know if you can really see it. So we're just saying it's green, yellow and red. Because that's all you can really tell. Uh, but yeah, we're off to Heathers, listening to Heathers on the way to get in the mood. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video.
that's what they call third base. Big fun, big fun, big fun. That actually looks like big fun, big fun, big fun. Woo! All right, people, listen up. What is Westerberg going to do to the Razorbacks at Sunday's game? Going to make them go, whee, 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 whee. Big fun, big fun. Oh, well, 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 guys. Oh my god, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Heather's 2.0. Heather 2.0 was incredible. We had, there's a lot of cast illness going around. I think they're all starting to get the flu. Um, I'm sure that Jenna said she had the flu. And obviously Jacob was off as well, so I think it's going round. So obviously we didn't have Jenna or Jacob. We also didn't have Verity. Which did make me sad not having them three because I love them all to bits. But the show without them, you wouldn't have known that it was a cut show whatsoever. I was so happy about. Obviously, we staged all at the end. Managed to we managed to meet everyone apart from I would say the three that weren't there, as well as the ones who were playing Ram and Miss Lemon. Now, or at some point, um. Probably after this, I'll insert the videos, not the videos, the photos of me with the cast. <coughs> <coughs> I'm losing my voice as well because of how I'm out of I already had a sore throat. And then I went and was weeping for Liam and Billy because they're like, love them to bits. I'm going to help me tomorrow. We're going to watch Jamie tomorrow. Everyone's talking about Jamie. With, I'm really sorry if I'm not pronouncing his name right, but Ivano, he's going to be there. Oh, I love him to bits. I absolutely adore him. We're going to watch that tomorrow. Um, this vlog is actually turning into a stagey weekend, which is amazing. The amount of theatre that we're going to have been and watched this year is just... There was a woman whose name was Norman and the pretty knickers. That was just the doorman. Pass it on. There was a doorman whose name was Norman and then the doorman kissed his sister. She's a Mormon. I've heard there's dungeons inside the cellars where they bring down pain and spank you with umbrellas. Everybody's talking about Jamie. Everybody's talking about Ginger Jamie. Everybody's talking about the boy in the dress who was born to impress. Everybody's talking about the things that he wore. Parts were missing. Everybody's talking about Jamie. Everybody's talking about Ginger Jamie. Everybody's talking about the boy on the stage who broke out of his cage. Everybody's talking about the switch and the lips. Everybody's talking about the tits and the hips. Everybody's talking about the crazy kid and all the things that he did. Everybody's talking about Jamie.
couple of days later because I've been so busy. I need you to find time for this. But everyone's talking about Jamie. Oh, it's just incredible. I, I love it. It was it was so weird, right? We went. I went and watched it when Layton was in it, and love love Layton's bits. Watched it. Watched him slain on Strictly last week. He's living the life, loving to bits. Ivana, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I think it is. That's why I pronounce it. I don't actually have a real pronunciation for it. But it was so weird how similar they were. It was incredible. I love them so much. I met him at stage door and I got his signature in the programme, which is currently downstairs. The programme is downstairs, but I got his signature in a photo with him, which I will insert either the photos now or the photos at the end, because I've got photos from Heather's as well, um, which I'll obviously be inserting to show you guys. But it was amazing. John Partridge, again, incredible. His local Chanel, amazing. Just amazing. Right. I was saying this to Beth the other day. I've got a question. Let me know in the comments if you know the answer to this question, right? In The Legend of Loco Chanel, you obviously got Young Loco. There's another drag queen. I'm not sure who that is. But then there's another guy. Pretty sure they called him John. Who plays John? Because he doesn't bow. He doesn't look like any other members of the cast. I'm like, who is this John? Beth said she's not sure if it's just um, like a member of the crew that just says, yeah, I'll do it. But I'm like, I don't know who it is. And it really confuses me. It confused me when I watched it last time as well. And I'm like, who is this guy? But it was good. It's amazing. I just love it. Miss Hedge was different to, well, all the cast was different to what I watched last time. Apart from, I'm pretty sure Ray was the same. Oh, God, oh my God, what's her name? Can't remember her name. I feel like her name's Shauna. I don't know where that's come from. But Ray was amazing. I love her. I find her really funny. She's actually really, really funny. But yeah, Miss Hedge, she was good. It was really funny. When she stood on the table, she looked so petrified that she was going to fall off the table. I was like, you're not going to fall, I can promise you. But yeah, it was amazing. Oh, Pretty Pasha it was so cute, right? Obviously, she has her two songs, Spotlight and Beautiful. I love both those songs, as it is. They're both amazing. But her singing those songs was just so be beautiful. It's beautiful. It means something that's only yours to give. It means beautiful. Beautiful. A little bit of glitter in the grey. Anyway, her portrayal of that character was amazing. And there were feathers. And there were rubbish, yes, she said, were four all weathers. And there were five boots, and there were high boots, and there were girl boots that you wear it. But yeah, it was an absolutely incredible musical. I would go and watch it another 50,000 times if I could, but I don't have the money for that. So yeah, but hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've had the best theatre weekend ever it was absolutely incredible if you want to see some more stagey experiences go into the theatre watching me in some shows myself and just general bits of theatre from me make sure to subscribe like this video and turn on post notifications so you can see every single time i upload a new one like this or an experience of my own in theatre